is Dr. Dutaff from Foot and Ankle Associates of Southern New Hampshire, and this is another fast foot fact. And we are continuing our discussion about ingrown toenails. So far we've gone over uh, what an ingrown toenail, its causes, um, symptoms, treatments. So I was gonna talk a little bit now about prevention. Uh, prevention a lot of times it goes into the same thing as the causes. You know, we have to look at shoe gear. We have to make sure that you've got an adequate sized toe box, that you're not wearing something that's too narrow or, or, or too tight fitting. Um, you know, there's always the biggest question about cutting the toenail. Is there a proper way to do so? Um, no, there really isn't. Everybody's toenail grows a little differently. So everybody needs to trim their toenails a little differently. If somebody has always had luck trimming their toenails straight across, then you continue to do that. If uh, you trim it a certain way and that has worked for you, then that's what I would recommend. Some people have a nail that um, curls in a certain direction, so they have to cut their nail back on a corner so that it doesn't continue to cause a problem. Um, but you're basically trying to figure out which way you cut the nail back that works best for you as a good preventative measure. Um, again, you know, sometimes just regular hydrating agents, moisturizing creams around the nail plate, especially if your skin gets dry. Uh, oftentimes, especially in the winter months, you wanna make sure that the skin around the nail plate is, is well hydrated and soft, so that also helps to prevent it from coming in. But sometimes, no matter what you do, um, it's, just the, um, it's just the way things pan out, so. Uh, and in regards to complications with an ingrown toenail, I would say that really the only complications that we see are with people who um, leave them untreated, um, especially in our higher risk population. So people who are diabetic, people who have compromised immune systems, who are on medications that suppress their ability to fight infection. Um, that's when we can see these things really become um, pretty significant um, and uh, there can be some risks associated with these. Um, but again, you know, other than localized infections for healthy individuals, we don't see too much beyond that. Um, but certainly we, we do make a point to uh, talk to our more at-risk patient populations, including our diabetics, to make sure that they really keep on top of these things because they certainly can lead to uh, more se severe uh, issues. So. Um, so ingrown toenails, in conclusion, uh, they can be painful, they can be inconvenient, uh, but with proper care and treatment, uh, we can easily manage them, um, we can prevent them, uh, and if you think you're experiencing, you know, uh, an ingrown toenail or having any issues, you know, please don't hesitate to give our office a call, and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Thanks again for watching. Talk to you soon.